Okay, Tony. Where is Tony? He's over here with a question. Right here. And they're bringing you a microphone. Hello. How about it? Hello. Good evening, Senator, Mr. President. Welcome to Michigan. As you heard, as you heard, my name is Tony. Mr. Trump, we met last year at a great round of Bedminster uh, with the Heritage Foundation. Good. Great event. It was an honor. Um, our company is based here in the U.S. We melt steel and we make uh, automotive parts out of ductile iron for uh, brake components, axle components. And uh, those are made for the big three here. Sadly, though, we're losing jobs to China, India, Mexico, and it's become uh, more difficult to compete. Manufacturers like us, we are some of the largest users of um, energy, and under Harris and Biden, the energy costs have tripled. So my question is, what will you do to get energy back down so us U.S. manufacturers can compete and bring it back to uh, here. Yeah, so it's a great question. A lot of people have the same question because it's affecting their companies. I just left one, uh, a man from the Netherlands. We made a speech, a wonderful guy, and he said the problem was he opened up because of me. He opened in 2017, and he had three great years, and now with them, he's not doing well. Uh, what we're doing is, I said, about the energy as to what we do and how we do it. But China's coming in, and you said Mexico. Mexico's a big threat now. Mexico's taking a lot of your business, and we're not going to let that happen. We need a smart series of tariffs and taxes, Russia, and it's very simple business. You know, China won't take cars from outside of China. They only take them if you build in China. You have to build your factory. So if I'm making a car and I think I'm going to sell it into China, they have a massive 100, over 100 percent tariff. So what you do is you say, to not pay that tariff, I'm going to have to build my factory in China. And they encourage it. They help it. We're going to be doing the same thing, but we're going to do it even better. We're going to bring cars back. We're going to bring, like you say, what are you, auto parts and things like that, right? Uh, we're going to bring that all back to this country. It's all coming back. If they had to pay tariffs on what they're doing and what they're selling into our country, uh, they wouldn't be putting your business out of business if that's where you're going. It will never happen, and we're going to do it just the opposite. Plus, we're lowering the tax rate. So I took it from 39 percent to 21 percent. These are for companies, and those are, that's why we had the great numbers for jobs. But now what I'm doing is I'm going, and nobody thought that was possible, and I got it approved by Congress, believe it or not. Now we're going to 21, from 21 to 15 percent, but you have to make your product in the USA. So if you want to take advantage of the low tax rate, you have to make your product. So we'll be down to 15 percent. That gives us one of the lowest tax rates in the whole world, so it's more than competitive. Companies will come here. But in addition to that, we're going to keep this really uh, terrible competition. I don't mind the word competition, but it's predatory. And we're going to keep this competition out so that you're able to grow your business and grow it well, and you'll make the product and you'll sell it inside our country. And uh, I know exactly what your situation is, and it's so easy to solve. We're going to need the help of the Senate. We're going to need the help of the House. And if they won't do it, I have the authorization and the power to do it myself, and we'll have to do it. Okay? Well, and that's why we need Mike Rogers as Mike Rogers. Senator Mike Rogers, and we've got Lisa McLean, Congresswoman McLean. Right. Yes. A warrior. Yes, she is a warrior, and the amazing, incredible Congressman John James. Hey, John. Good. And they will help us help us get this done. I, I appreciate that you talked about tariffs, and I think it's so important that you continue to call out China, and we support you on that, because we don't want China building those plants in Mexico and then running those cars across the border. Without any tax whatsoever and putting everybody here in not only danger, it's over. Your union head, I don't know who he is, Sean Fain or something, whoever this guy is, 
he sold you out because he let Biden, who, who doesn't know what he's doing. I mean, you probably noticed. He let this guy come up with an all-electric mandate. Those cars are all going to be built in China. We want cars built in the USA. It's very simple. And they're going to come in at levels. We'll be having, we'll be having auto manufacturing at levels that we haven't seen in 50 years. We're going to have a lot of companies coming in. And we're going to make it competitive so they can come in and they can thrive, not like this gentleman where they come in and they dump product. And you know what they do? They dump the product cheaply, and then everyone goes out of business. Then they take over the businesses, and they sell it for two and three times what it was selling for before. They, the whole thing, it's really not too com You know, Rockefeller in the old days, he used to open a gas station. He used to underprice it by by 50, 100, he'd give the gas away. He'd drive the people out of business around him. Then he'd buy up the gas stations or close them, and he'd make a fortune. That's what exactly what they do on an even bigger scale. We're not going to let it happen. It's going to be over. We're going to have a smart system of tariffs. And by the way, if they don't want to play that game, then we're going to get a lot of money from tariffs. So I charge, Marsha can tell you, I charged hundreds of billions of dollars to China in tariffs and taxes. No other president has ever charged China 10 cents. And we take in hundreds of billions of dollars, so much so that Biden can't get rid of it. He's still got it on, you know, he wants to, but it's so much money. And frankly, it's, it's a lot of money. But also, if you did get rid of it, they'd come in and they'd put all your businesses out of business. So the Senate and the House have to get really smart on this because purposely over a period of years they've given it a bad name. Actually, I consider it one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. The word tariff, I love it. I think it's beautiful. Almost, almost as beautiful as that chart that I looked to the right. Almost as beautiful. Where is that chart? Where is that chart? Do they have it? I love that chart. Oh, I love that chart. Whoa. That's one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. If I didn't look over there real fast, I guess I wouldn't be with you tonight, right? That's, um, I sleep with that chart. I go to bed with it. I kiss it good night. I love you, baby. That chart. But the word tariff is a beautiful word if properly used, and it gives us power and strength. And, you know, beyond just economic strength, there are times when I had two countries fighting. I don't want to tell you which ones because... But I had two countries fighting. It looked like they were going to go to war again. I think Rick Grinnell is here. Is Rick Grinnell here? I think so. Did a fantastic job. Yeah. They're fighting. I said, fellas, you guys want to fight? You want to kill people in your countries? That's okay. But if you do, I'm going to charge you 200% tariff to do business with the United States. And that's it. They called me back two days later. Sir, we've made peace. After years, we've made peace. So, you know, it really does. It has a great power to it. There's a great power if you know how to use it. Well, it does indeed. And another thing with great power was the 2017 Trump tax cuts. And we need Republicans in the Senate and the House to make the Trump tax cuts permanent. Right. <laughs> She's right. They want to raise your taxes. They want to take out the Trump tax cuts, which will, I think, close to depression time, not recession, but depression time, because it, it was the biggest tax cut in the history of our country. And you got a lot of other things, too. Uh, estate tax, death tax. If you love your children and you want to leave your business to them or whatever, does anybody not love their children? Because if you don't love your children, then it doesn't help you too much. But if you want to leave, but uh, leave it to anybody. But, you had no zero estate tax. You had zero death tax, we call it sometimes. I like the word estate better than death, but a lot of people use the word death. And that was a big thing because you would have a farm and you'd leave it to your children and they have a big tax to pay. They'd go out to the bank, they'd borrow the money, they'd end up losing the farm and living like hell. And part of our tax cuts, nobody even talks about it, but the people that 
that are involved in this stuff really say that's one of the best things. You have no estate or death tax to pay, so it's really great. Well, we're going to... They want to end that. We'll lower those taxes. We'll have those tariffs. We're going to make those cars right here and then see them loaded on a teamster-driven big rig and taken all across the country. And thank you to the Teamsters. Did you know I got 60% of the vote with the Teamsters? So thank you, Teamsters. That's yes. the first time that happened in a long time. Yes, it is. Okay. Right. Thank you, Teamsters. Our next